everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Randy Diane will be joining us later in the video and this is Zephyr Travels Maritime Edition as you can see from my new ride we're here on the Colorado River right behind me and we are staying at Buckskin Mountain which is right over that way I'm assuming that area is considered Buckskin Mountain I'm not positive it maybe it's the mountain behind it I don't know for sure but this area is a Arizona State Park. We are just about 10 miles north of Parker, Arizona on Route 95. We've been here for a few days. This is a really nice park. It's a little bit different than a lot of state parks that we've been to. A lot of them are very wilderness and, and a lot of trees and such. This one has a little bit more of a private park feel um, in a couple different ways. One, it has a dog park, which Montine Zephyr love. And another thing that's here is the way they line up the trailers. They are more in like a, a private campground where they are in a neat row, you know, so many feet apart and everything. They are a little bit more spaced out than a private campground like a KOA or something, which tend to be only maybe 10 feet apart. You know, we're probably 20 feet apart from your neighbor. So you do have a little bit of room, but it, it is completely all paved for the most part. At least the section we're in is all paved. There are a few campsites that are a little bit more um, laid out, more naturally around trees and such. But our area, there's really no trees. But we do have full hookups, water, electric, and sewer. So from that perspective, it's really nice. And like I said, so I'm a little bit mixed on is this being the best state park we've been to? Probably not. But it is a really nice state park. It's beautiful here right on the Colorado River. I think you can barely see it behind me. You can see it back there. There's a boat launch and there's a river back there. Um, great place you can go kayaking here. You can go uh, swimming here. If the water was a little warmer, probably in the summertime, this is probably a very popular place to be. Uh, it is, it's, it's a nice park. There's great hiking trails. We took a nice little hike the other day. Um, Diane's knee is still a little sore from her bike accident, but uh, we were able to take a short hike and we'll show you that video right now. We're going to hike up Lightning Bolt Trail. It's right here behind us. And it's one of the, I don't know if there's very many trails out of this park, but it, it takes it into the, the mountain part of uh, Buckskin Mountain area. So it, it looks like it's a pretty neat trail. It's right on the top crest of the mountain. So we got the dogs with us. Oop. Don't know if you saw them there. The dogs are with us, trust us. And we're going to take them for a hike because you can do that in state parks. And hopefully if you have luck, it's extremely windy today. Yeah, that's a good point. It is very windy, so if we do talk at other points and the wind is in the video, please understand. Can't wait. I had to take it a little easy today on the hiking. Diane's knee is still bothering her a little bit from a bike accident, so we're taking just a partial trail, take it a little flatter, just walk a little bit of it, and we'll probably just turn off the back. Today we're visiting some friends in Lake Havasu, Arizona. 
And they took us to a car show here. It's called the Deuces Wild. And it's in the local park and it's really kind of cool. There's a lot of old hot rods here. And we've been spending the last couple hours just wandering through, talking and checking out the old cars. Right, pretty neat. It's always, it's always fun seeing these old cars. Yep, so we'll show you some of those cars right now. sister park which is River Island State Park and it's only like two miles from here actually the two parks are technically connected with a trail right right so yeah we're not going far at all still be on the Colorado River mm -hmm. so what do you think of Buckskin it's a great park yeah the sites are very wide very spacious yeah and you don't you're not on top of your neighbor and it's not a huge park but it's very nice, very clean. Um, you know, there it does have a very nice dog park. Yeah, rather large one. Yeah, that's one thing these guys love is the dog park. Right. We, uh, yeah, we like it when the um, campgrounds we go to have dog parks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they have all different kinds of sites. We are fortunate to get one with full hookups which we haven't had in a while. Yeah. So that was nice. Yeah, I'd say the only downside to our site is that there's really no trees or landscaping to it. Right, you right. Know, some of the sites are more into the, the wooded area. Others are like this, more open. Right, but we did get a chance to put out our awning. Yeah. So that provides shade for us as well as for the dogs. Yeah, so but they're all paved sites, drive through, really nice. Right. And uh, yeah, nice area to walk around. You're right by the water. We didn't use. Nice place to go sit by the water and just watch the boats. Right. Yeah. Well, should we get the dogs packed up and get on the road? Yep. Go All do right. our um, chores for the day. Yeah. Okay. All right. Time to go. You ready? Gonna go for a ride? Except for hoopers. She always goes right in. Yeah. Go in. Go in. You always have to stop. Get in there. Uh -huh. 